only took about two weeks new camper top same ladderette just moved it to new camper top ended up putting the tailgate on I can actually see out the back window and everything I gotta get and wash it but I'm happy I don't have to worry about that thing falling or flying off anymore but let's get to today's video Got a tenant right now saying her system has frozen over or it did freeze over. So I think we've been to this apartment one time. If it if we were, I think it was Jacob. And we just had to add some refrigerant to it. So let's see what the situation is now. Well, knocked on the door of this apartment. No response called the office on site somebody's making their way over here with a key so while I've got a moment I want to appreciate everybody who's subscribed recently had like a massive amount of people just flood in over the last week especially with that unhappy homeowner video <laughs> oh man oh, I got a lot of flack on that comment section was brutal but I love it and I got a I got a a freaking kick out of every single person that commented and critiqued the video and the install so <sighs> but that all that much closer to a thousand subscribers I don't know if I've made it like voiced it out in a video but I definitely my goal is to to be uh, at a thousand subscribers before July and I think I'm gonna get there I think I'm gonna get there. It's almost a 900 already. So, oh, there's my office lady. Let's get to it. Oh, that thing is disgusting. Might not be enough to make it freeze, but definitely not good to breathe in. Oh, Lord. Alright y'all, I did my best, Jacob was on the phone with me, had to walk him through something, but I sprayed some cleaner and I used my brush and tried to get as much off as I could. Um, I don't know if it picks up and shows very well in video, but it definitely looks better than what it was. I mean, I got my shop back to get the water that I used out because I just used my pump sprayer, but all that debris fell off the coil. So hopefully it's breathing better now. We'll still tell them that, hey, we might have to end up, you know, pulling the whole EVAP coil out and doing it the proper way. But at least this can, I can try to get the tenants AC. I've got the thermostat calling for cool. But I don't hear or feel the fan motor at all. So ho I hope we don't have a dead one here. Hopefully just a fan relay, but I can hear the refrigerant, you know, flowing through the lines. So let me go ahead and get this panel off and see if we got voltage going when we need it. So I actually don't even really need to pull out the meter for this. I know a lot of techs have probably seen this with ECM motors. I know voltage is getting here because for somehow the motor's spinning. So I know I'm getting my high speed and my low speed. I'm still going to put my meter up here just to check, but I mean, you can already tell this is pretty much just a bad module. The motor's able to spin, but the module's just not working the way it's supposed to. And they just had the wires kind of just brushed up against the metal over here. Look at all this stuff. I'm not an expert on this stuff, but I don't think this stuff is good. Other than that, I mean, it's not terrible in here. Gotta answer a phone call for Jacob, everybody. Hold on. Alright, so on this older Goodman, the fan relay is right up there. And it comes down to this like terminal bar strip where this wire is for the designated speed tap. Don't mind that noise. I'm knocking my light over. Um, and the designated speed tap for this is this pink wire. 
connected on the other side to the oh my god focus right to this uh, purple wire right here so all I had to do then was track the purple wire down and around to the blower motor housing and find out that it's on the low volt speed tap right there so first I want to confirm I got 240 even though I pretty much already know it um, point one there go ahead put the disconnect in I don't have the system calling for uh, cool mode anymore just fan on and immediately I got 240 so now put this right here now we got high voltage the blue wire on here peel all this stuff back that's my common and then from common to the purple show you guys what the meter says 26 volts so I got a bad module but considering the age of this whole thing I've, and and what Johnstone supply house is probably gonna try to sell me or got that they're gonna tell me is available is just a full motor um, so unfortunately this tenants not gonna have AC for the foreseeable day you know I don't care because no. I don't have that motor on my truck and Johnstone is a bit ways away from where I am right now but definitely by tomorrow and for the rest of the weekend they should be straight has Johnstone ever given you something for free well you know that Will Hagler job I was supposed to go to that I called you about Turned out you were right. They did just, uh, they forgot to turn the breaker on. Tamar called me and told me dis to disregard that service call. So I went to John Stone. And the new Calgon rep was there and noticed that they, uh, that they have the Viper Venom packs that I keep on the truck on the shelves. And the guy was like, who gets that? And I was just like, me. All right. <laughs> I try to make sure I keep at least two of them. Um, I like their cleaner. And he was not, Garrett said the guy would, did not look happy when I said that. So he was like, you know, we got something that comes in a bottle that uh, is a little bit cheaper and, you know, I can give it to you for free. You can try it. And if you like it, just let them know and they can put more upon the shelves. I was like, okay, I'll, I'll take it. It's my first free thing. I'm making it as a YouTuber. I get free stuff. <laughs> Now, nah, I'll probably make a video about using this, but I'll probably, I mean, I primarily use the, again, that other stuff on micro channel coils. I don't know if this is safe for micro channels, though. But we'll see. That's it for today's video, though. Sit back at the shop with the old, with the boss man and probably order a pizza and chill out with him for a bit some quality time with the boss man plus we gotta talk about upcoming jobs and stuff and oh, making sure everything's in tip top shape so with that being said i hope everybody has a good rest of their week and i will catch you all on the next one peace